Hey beautiful people, welcome to a new vlog. I am currently in a park in Nicosia, the capital of Cyprus, and I'm here for this really cool project called Eurotoir. You may have seen some of the pictures I've already posted on social media, but I thought, as I have a day off from the studio recordings, I thought it would be interesting to basically share a little bit of insight into what we've been doing here for the past few months to share some of the video footage that I've been recording. I've been trying to put this video together for ages. It's taken a long time. So much stuff came up the whole time, but now is the moment. I have time. Here it is. Here's some information about Eurotoir, and uh, I hope you enjoy what you're going to see. I'm going to find a spot to tell you about it. Da -da -da -da. A couple of months ago, I received an email from the Luxembourg Music Export Office about this project. It was a songwriting camp and an album production camp organized by Luvana Records, an indie label here in Cyprus. And I thought, wow, this is really cool. In a year of a pandemic, there is a songwriting camp. Like, I, I just couldn't believe anything was happening. There were three sessions scheduled. The first session would take place in June which would mean all songwriters would get together for the first time and compose music. The second session taking place in July, we would fine-tune our compositions, create some demos, prepare things for the studio recordings. And then session three, which is where I am now, is the actual album production taking place and the recordings. I don't have any video footage of the first session because I only bought this camera straight after. So. I will explain to you what happened in the second session mostly because it's kind of the you can still feel how songs were being put together so session two takes place in july we arrive at larnaca airport and are taken by a minibus to a wonderful little village a picturesque village called lefkara which is situated in the mountains We got together in the morning at the local school. We could actually spend and set up camp there for a week and compose, make music. Introducing a Oh, there he is. Good morning. This is another section of Eurotoir in this beautiful school. I don't like that much, but it's going to be done by two. And then we have the studio here. Check it out. Setting up. I think she's like, I need to go and close that gate because it's scary. Ah, yes, yeah. Ooh, guys, Hello, in a few minutes, let's assemble by the under So every day we would meet at the school, uh, get together in different groups. We had a massive whiteboard with basically all the songs, what needed to be done, um, arrangement, tempo, lyrics who is involved in the songs, who is the producer. And then we got together into our little groups and continued working on the songs. During this first session, we were quite nervous because we didn't know, okay, who, I mean, we did know who the other songwriters were, but, you know, and who the producers were and the session musicians, but 
we didn't really know whether we would click, whether we're actually going to write some serious music together, whether we feel inspired, how is it going to work, co-writing in large groups. Within the first few hours, as soon as we gathered into small groups, we felt very comfortable. We let our creative juices flow and it was, it was just an excellent experience to, to co-write and to work with other people and to have other people's inspirations influence the songs that you're also working on yourself. This was really great. When we went home after session one, we had actually written 15 songs within four or five days. A beautiful hotel. Going up to our room. I think there is a view you ought to see. Absolutely magnificent. I'm going to turn the camera around. One of the biggest highlights of the week was this event taking place called Fengaros Music Village. Now Fengaros is one of the biggest, biggest festivals in Cyprus, but this year was cancelled because of the pandemic. But prior to the festival, Nuvana Records always host a music village. It's basically a workshop week. So they have you know, tutors come in that specialize in their craft, and present and give workshops. And at the end of the day, there's always a jam session in Katodris, which is the village where basically this whole workshop and where the festival usually takes place. So in the evenings, we would join the jam session and we even performed some of our demos. It was the second day of the trip. We literally arrived and the next day we found out that tomorrow, the day after we'd be performing. So. First day, stress, we got together, we got our shit together, we, you know, finalized structures, lyrics were probably still half improvised, but we managed and we ended up jamming at the festival. Designed by Andrea Strahonidis and Marika, Maria Eka Maclodi, so give them a, a round of applause as well. And um, we have about 20 musicians from all over Europe getting together, writing songs together, and doing the whole process together of the recording of everything. So, because we're in the next village, we thought to come here tonight and present a few of the songs that the, the guys are working on.
then there was a photo shoot that we did. We went to this white stone beach, which apparently is very famous in Cyprus. A lot of um, just married couples go there for the, the sunset photography. And we headed there and took some, some snaps, which we will be using for the album. Hey guys, I'm here, but joined by Jonas FK. What the fuck is up? Um, I'm making a little vlog for my YouTube channel, but I may actually also be in the final documentary. But uh, tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a graphic designer from uh, Sweden, Stockholm. I've been doing it for 20 years now. I've been doing working with great companies such as uh, Coca-Cola, Adidas. I'm their main guy. Whenever they want some good, hot-ass designs, they come to me. Whenever they want some shitty-ass designs, they come to Josh. Yeah, usually it's plan A, plan B. Yeah, it's yeah. Just it's the way just, it goes in this business. Yeah, it's our dynamic as well. We, it's, it works for us, you know. <laughs> What I find really cool about this project is that in a year where COVID has pulled a handbrake on so many cultural happenings, on creativity, on live music, on art, this project has really helped me get through this time. And this is also a place where I'd like to say thank you to Maria, to Lefteris, to Andreas, the three guys from Lubana Records, for putting in so much time and effort into this project, for basically sitting through the whole pandemic and the quarantine period, writing this program to look for funding, to get the grants that they needed to put this together and make it happen. And I'm very happy to be a part of it. So. Here we go. Hope you enjoyed this little vlog about Eurotoir. I guess now it's no longer a mystery of the pictures I post on social media. It's a little bit more context, a little bit more videos, and I can't wait to release this album together with everyone. So that's all for now. I'm gonna enjoy my green juice, and I will see you next time. Yeah.